Hello, Fame Story TV family, and welcome back to our channel. In the last 24 hours, we have received the sad news of the passing of the extraordinary talents, and today's episodes is dedicated to honoring their memory. Additionally, we will recap the stars whom we have recently lost. Before we start, we kindly ask for your support if this video or the legacies of these remarkable individuals have touched your heart. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up as a sign of respect and remembrance. Thank you. Lou Dobbs born on September 24, 1945 in United States. Lou Dobbs was an American conservative political commentator, author, and TV host. He hosted Lou Dobbs Tonight from 2003 to 2009 and again from 2011 to 2021. From 2021 until his death, he hosted The Great America Show on iHeartRadio and his website. Dobbs joined CNN when it started in 1980, working as a reporter and vice president. He hosted and was the managing editor of CNN's business show, Moneyline, which began in 1980 and was renamed Lou Dobbs Tonight in 2003. He left CNN in 1999, but returned in 2001 and left again in 2009. He also hosted Lou Dobbs Radio. Starting in 2011, he hosted Lou Dobbs Tonight on Fox Business Network until it was canceled in February 2021. Dobbs was an early supporter of the false claim that former President Barack Obama was not a natural-born U.S. citizen. He was known for his anti-immigration views and opposition to NAFTA and other trade deals. A strong supporter of Donald Trump, his show often featured pro-Trump content. He was one of three Fox hosts named in a $2.7 billion defamation lawsuit by Smartmatic over conspiracy theories about the 2020 election. He was also named in the Dominion Voting Systems defamation lawsuit, which Fox News settled for $787 million, admitting the broadcast statements were false. Dobbs died at the age of 78 and he died naturally. Tribute to the star. Bob Newhart, born on September 5, 1929, in United States. Bob Newhart was an American comedian and actor known for his dry, stammering style. He started as a stand-up comedian and later became an actor on TV. He won many awards, including three Grammy Awards, an Emmy, and a Golden Globe. In 2002, he got the Mark Twain Prize for American Humor. Newhart became famous in 1960 with his comedy album, The Button-Down Mind of Bob Newhart, which was a bestseller and topped the Billboard Pop Album Chart. It is still one of the best-selling albums ever. His next album, The Button-Down Mind Strikes Back, was also a hit with both albums holding the number one and two spots on the Billboard chart at the same time. He had a short-lived variety show on NBC in 1961 called The Bob Newhart Show, before starring in another show with the same name from 1972 to 1978, where he played a psychologist. From 1982 to 1990, he starred in Newhart, playing an innkeeper. He also had two short-lived sitcoms in the 1990s called Bob and George and Leo. Newhart acted in movies like Catch-22, Cold Turkey, In-N-Out, and Elf. He voiced Bernard in Disney's animated films The Rescuers and The Rescuers Down Under. From 2013 to 2018, he played Professor Proton on The Big Bang Theory, winning a primetime Emmy for his role. Newhart died at the age of 94, and he died from short illness. Tribute to the Star Shannon Doherty, born on April 12, 1971, in United States. Shannon Doherty was an American actress. Her first big movie role was in the dark comedy Heathers, which came out in 1988. She became famous worldwide for playing Brenda Walsh in the TV series Beverly Hills 9 in 1990. For her role as Brenda, she was nominated for a Young Artist Award for Best Young Actress in a television series in 1991 in 1992. Doherty left the show after the fourth season in 1994. She appeared nude in Playboy magazine, 
first in December 1993 and again in March 1994. She posed for Playboy one more time in December 2003 with a 10-page pictorial. In early 1993, Doherty was briefly engaged to Dean J. Factor, an heir to the Max Factor fortune. He filed for a restraining order on May 25, 1993, claiming she had been violent and threatening. However, Doherty's father said that Factor was the one being abusive. On October 11, 1993, Doherty married Ashley Hamilton, the son of actors George Hamilton and Alana Collins. They divorced in April 1994. In 2002, Doherty married Rick Salomon, but their marriage was annulled after nine months. On October 15, 2011, Doherty married photographer Kurt Iswarienko in Malibu, California. In March 2015, Doherty was diagnosed with breast cancer, which had spread to her lymph nodes. In February 2016, she started anti-estrogen treatment to shrink the tumor, hoping for a lumpectomy instead of a mastectomy. However, multiple tumors made a lumpectomy impossible, so she had a mastectomy in May 2016. Surgery showed that the cancer might have spread beyond her lymph nodes, so she underwent chemotherapy and radiotherapy. On April 29, 2017, Doherty announced that her cancer was in remission. Doherty died at the age of 53, and she from breast cancer. Tribute to the Star Richard Simmons, the eccentric fitness instructor and media personality who rose to prominence in the 1980s, died July 13 at 76. He had celebrated his birthday just one day earlier. Simmons moved to Los Angeles in the 1970s and opened his own fitness studio, Anatomy Asylum, later renamed Slimmons in Beverly Hills. His studio, which focused on helping fitness newcomers gain an interest in exercise, was featured in an episode of the NBC reality series Real People, which led to dozens of other media appearances. He starred as himself in several episodes of General Hospital in the 1980s, hosted his own daytime Emmy-winning talk show, and produced more than 60 workout videos throughout his career. Tribute to the Star Joe Bryant born on October 19, 1954 in the United States. He was an American professional basketball player and coach. He played in the NBA for the Philadelphia 76ers, San Diego Clippers, and Houston Rockets. He also played for teams in Italy and France. He coached the WNBA's Los Angeles Sparks from 2005 to 2007 and again in 2011. He also coached in Japan and Thailand. His son, Kobe Bryant, is a Basketball Hall of Famer. After returning from Europe, his first coaching job was with the U.S. Armed Forces in Italy. In the 1992-1993 season, he coached the women's varsity team at Akiba Hebrew Academy in Pennsylvania. He coached the Tokyo Apache in Japan from 2007 to 2009. In 2009, he signed with Italian club Sebastiani Rieti, but the deal fell through when the team moved to Naples. He coached Lavanga Hokkaido in Japan during the 2010-2011 season. In January 2012, he was hired as coach of the Bangkok Cobras in the ASEAN Basketball League for the 2012 season. He also coached the Chang Thailand Slammers in 2013. Bryant died at the age of 69. He died naturally. Tribute to the Star Shelley Duvall, the actress known for her roles in several Robert Altman films and for starring alongside Jack Nicholson in Stanley Kubrick's The Shining, died on July 9th due to complications from diabetes. She was 75 years old. Born in Fort Worth, Texas, Duvall was discovered by Robert Altman, who cast her in his 1970 film Brewster McCloud. This was the first of seven projects they worked on together over the next seven years, including Nashville. 1975, Three Women, 1977, and Popeye, 1980. 
Duvall became a horror icon as Wendy Torrance in The Shining, where she played a challenging role opposite Jack Nicholson. In addition to her film career, Duvall created, hosted, and produced several popular children's TV shows in the 1980s, such as Fairy Tale Theater, Nightmare Classics, and Tall Tales and Legends. She retired from acting in 2002. In a controversial episode of Dr. Phil, she revealed her struggles with mental health. Despite retiring, Duvall made a comeback over 20 years later, starring in the 2023 indie horror film, The Forest Hills. Tribute to the star. Tonka Dracht, born on the 12th of November, 1930 in Netherlands. She was a Dutch writer and illustrator of children's books. Her book, De Brief for de Koning, was chosen as the best Dutch youth book of the latter half of the 20th century by CPNB. Many of her stories are set in fantasy or science fiction worlds, often closely related to the real world. For example, De Brief for de Koning, Geheimen van het Wilde Woud, and some short stories are set in a fictional medieval world. Books like Torenhoek and Mylan Braid and Ogen van Tigers are near-future science fiction stories set on Venus and Earth. De Torens van Februari switches between our world and a parallel one, while De Zevensprong is set in a realistic world. Dracht often uses elements of legends and fables, especially in Verhollen van de Tweelingbroers. Her stories usually focus on one or a few male protagonists, often teenagers, who go on personal quests. These quests might involve finding something external, like the letter in Debrief for de Koning, but they also lead to self-discovery. Dracht explained that she used male characters because it made more sense in her historical settings, like the Middle Ages, where women had smaller roles. She also found traditional girl books of her time to be slow and preferred reading books aimed at boys. Dragged admired British children's literature for its fantasy tradition, noting that Dutch literature often demanded realism. In a 2019 interview, she recalled her first call with Miep Diekman, an editor at Leopold, who initially doubted the first manuscript of Verhollen van de Tweelingbroers, saying that fables were out of fashion and the book was too long at over 350 pages. However, Diekman was impressed by Dragt's illustrations and storytelling, calling her talented. Drack died at the age of 93, and she died naturally. Tribute to the Star Angus Cloud, a breakout star on the HBO teen drama Euphoria, died July 31st at 25. His family said in a statement that Cloud had intensely struggled with the recent loss of his father and added, Angus was open about his battle with mental health and we hope that his passing can be a reminder to others that they are not alone and should not fight this on their own in silence. His death was later ruled an accidental overdose caused by acute intoxication due to combined effects of methamphetamine, fentanyl, cocaine, and benzodiazepines. An Oakland native, Cloud was best known for his role as Euphoria's Fezco, a drug dealer with a heart of gold. He appeared on the Sam Levinson created series from its launch in 2019. At the end of season two, Cloud's character was wounded and arrested, but no new episodes will arrive until 2025. Tribute to the Star Carol Duvall, HGTV's Queen of Crafts, died at 97 on July 31st, according to the New York Times. Duvall got her start on local television in her home state before taking her crafts focused shows nationally with programs on ABC and HGTV. Her broadcasting career started in 1951 when she hosted a children's show in Grand Rapids, Mike. She moved on to WWJ-TV in Detroit, where she eventually hosted her first arts and crafts program, Here's Carol Duvall. She built a name on crafting approachable projects, using with materials commonly found around the house. 
Her stint in Detroit landed her a job at ABC on The Home Show from 1988 to 1994. From the end of The Home Show until 2005, Duvall hosted versions of The Carol Duvall Show on HGTV 1994 to 2005 and on DIY Network 2005-2009, building an audience of devoted crafters across the country. Tribute to the Star Witeki van Dort, born on the 16th of May, 1943 in Netherlands. She was a Dutch actress, comedian, singer, writer, and artist of Indo-Eurasian descent. On April 29, 1999, Queen Beatrix made her a Knight of the Order of Orange Nassau. She appeared on many children's TV shows and was best known for playing Tante Lean, an Indo-Dutch Indonesian character on the Late Late Lean show. This show was unique for showcasing Indo-Eurasian culture and introducing many Indo artists and music to the Dutch audience. The show ran for three seasons and ended in 1988, but the Tante Lean character remains popular. In 2007, she received the Silver Medal of Merit for her role from the Dutch State Secretary for Defense. After marrying Theo Moody, she successfully focused on radio and TV. She played the distinguished lady in the Stratomaker Opsies How with Art Starches and Joost Prinsen, and appeared on the 1970s children's program Lawai Papagai. She was part of a writer's group with Hans Dorestein, Carol Eichmann, Rhys Monin, Fetza Peilman, and Jan Riem, during which Willem Vilmink, a scriptwriter, passed away. She also contributed to the TV program Het Klokhaus by overseeing the scriptwriting. Witika died at the age of 81, and she died from liver cancer. Tribute to the Star Michael J. Fox recently reflected on how his perspective on his health has evolved over the 33 years since being diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. In an interview with Entertainment Tonight on April 2nd, the 62-year-old actor discussed his journey with the condition, which affects nerves and movement. Diagnosed in 1991, Fox went public with his diagnosis in 1998. Fox explained that he no longer views Parkinson's negatively and has integrated it into his daily life. After 35 years since my diagnosis, this is just my life now, and I don't think about it much, he said. Although Parkinson's isn't always on his mind, Fox is dedicated to finding a cure and improving treatments. I'm thinking about what we can do as a community to figure this out and find a cure. He emphasized Fox's acceptance of Parkinson's as part of his identity is clear. It's just who I am and the way I was built. I'm not just figuring it out for me, but for everyone. It just is what it is, he remarked despite rarely appearing publicly. Fox received a standing ovation at the BAFTAs in February. He appreciated the support, seeing it as recognition of his determination to fight Parkinson's. I think people are saying, thanks for hanging in there and going after this, he said. Fox remains optimistic, noting a significant breakthrough in early Parkinson's detection. I'm thrilled with life. I love life. I'm very happy, he said. Parkinson's is a neurological condition that progressively damages the brain, causing symptoms like involuntary shaking and slow movement. Fox's resilience and optimism continue to inspire many. Thank you for joining us on episode of Fame Story TV, where we remember and pay tribute to the lives and stories of remarkable people who have left us today. If this video touched your heart, please consider honoring their memory by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. See you in the next episode.